2022 World Championships in the 49er in the books. The medal race is finished. And man, it was close for the silver and bronze medal. Pantella brothers, you came away with a bronze medal, um, but that was not an easy race. Uh, Mihovel, tell me how that one went. Yeah, it was a really tough one. In one moment we were uh, second, one moment we were third, one moment we were out of the medal. And then uh, I think up in Mark we, we were third, but uh, not secured till the end of the race. So we did a jibe set and then uh, finished super close with the uh, Austrians. At the end we lost uh, with them and then we lost the uh, silver medal. But we are, I'm super happy and probably Shima as well with the bronze. Yeah. Now, Shime, we talked all week about, you know, how it's been a tough, tough world championships for you guys. A lot of little stumbling blocks along the way. Um, tell me how your emotions were throughout this race. It was really tough. I'm just talking to Spanish guys. I felt like everyone in the fleet uh, wanted to shoot themselves <laughs> a couple of times during the race because they were first, they finished almost last. We were around the third uh, on the downwind mark. We were eight and then climbed back. Uh, regarding the whole week, it uh, seems like we were struggling with this north breeze, which is shifty. We, we love sh uh, shifty winds, but uh, we couldn't find a good rhythm in, in this Canadian north wind. Uh, the sea breeze was great, uh, just this north wind, uh, we struggled a bit, but finally came, up, came out with a medal and we don't want to look, is it silver or bronze, it's, uh, as long as it's a medal. Yeah. And that just shows your experience and your maturity in your racing. I remember when we were in Denmark and you dropped a rig and uh, you, or you were working on your rig. You had some uh, failures yeah. that you were working on in the parking lot and you were sitting there just chilling away while your brother was working. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, you know, you guys have this relaxed uh, maturity about yourselves. Um, you know, going into this stage in the quad, your aim is 2024 in Paris. Yeah. Um, you know, you're looking, you're staring at your competitors for that event probably if everyone gets there okay yeah. um, how do you feel with where you stand in the fleet uh, here it's really hard to to cover someone you need to work uh, just with yourself on the speed uh, with the tactics so if you do your job 100% uh, good you will be in forward so we we have a lot of things to to improve not not a lot but the small things but uh, I think when we solve that things it will be even better and so many place changes in that race, only a one point away. Um, but you like to look at the big picture, I know. So uh, how do you feel about your week overall? Yeah, the, the week was good. As I said, the medal is most important, but uh, our goal is Paris 2024. It's in a bit two less years. than two years. Uh, and yeah, as Micho says, plenty of small things to improve. Uh, try to catch up the Dutch guys uh, and try to stay on this level and obviously to improve it. We have to switch to the new North Sales uh, main sale. And there is going to be a lot of lot of time uh, time consuming to, to to get to the same speed and everything else is fine we are healthy no injuries and uh, hopefully it stays like that yeah. great well congratulations to both of you congratulations to representing the country yeah. and bringing home a medal like you said a medal is a good thing yeah. Yeah, so exactly. congratulations and we'll see you at the next regatta thank you very much thank you thank you guys thank you and back to the studio for the 2022 worlds congratulations guys. Thanks, buddy. wow man